Hey you guys, it is 5.55 p.m. Thursday, November 22nd, 2018. Um, this is a foundation review um, on the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. I have the color um, 35 Nude Beige. I'm going to give it a big thumbs down. Um, I saw this foundation on the shelves in the store before. I thought it would be good because it had a lot of great reviews. I personally don't think it's all that great, so this is definitely going in the for sale bin. Bin. I just bought this yesterday, and I'm wearing it today, and I put it on at like, I'm gonna say 10, 40 or something like that. Anyways, uh, you see how shiny my forehead is. Look here, my fingers are clean, and look what happens after one swipe. You can't hardly see that, I know. But there is some junk all over there, and I just personally don't think, really like foundation like that. Um, and plus, it's making parts of my face break out with zits and stuff. I know that's gross to say, but everybody gets them. And if you haven't, then you must be an alien, but... Uh, I'm just... Nah, I thought I would actually like this foundation, but I actually have nothing nice to say about it, personally. Um... I saw this in Kroger's and I saw this in Walmart and I'm glad I went to buy it at Walmart otherwise I would have thrown away a lot more money um, because it was this was eleven dollars in Kroger's and it was, was like eight dollars in Walmart a couple dollars difference but still there's a big there's a little difference you know a big difference um, I saw Jeffree Star use this foundation in a video and I'm pretty sure he said he liked it it's called the full face of using only sorry full face using only Maybelline products by Jeffree Star and it was posted a year ago and it has right now 8 million views and counting I'm sure but uh, I will put it in the description box down below but I personally no I'm just not gonna use it again hopefully somebody buys it uh, um, I do have to show you another one real quick and I'm probably going to have a review on this one tomorrow. I used to use this one all the time. And it's called the L'Oreal True Match. And it's in the color C3 Creamy Natural. Which uh, the C part on the L'Oreal True Match foundations actually stands for cool. The N for neutral. And the W for warm. I actually did not realize that. I thought there was some type of different formula. But I didn't realize that. I thought they were all... Sorry, I meant to say I thought they were all the same. But there are different formulas in there. Um... I can already say I might like this one because I used to use it, but I used to use the neutral colors because I was very pale when I came up here. This foundation I have been using since I was about, I'm going to say, <laughs> I don't remember how old I was when I discovered L'Oreal. I was about like 12 or 13, and um, I've had a couple bottles of this. This thing's about... This foundation is about 15 years old, and they have the pump bottle, the Lumi version, which I gave I uh, gave that a review a while back, and I actually don't have one anymore, because I used it all, and I sold one because I didn't want to use it anymore, uh, because this is my primary fashion foundation right now, sorry, fashion, sorry, and also this one, because this one is darker, this is actually brand new, but I, I torn it open on accident trying to look at it yesterday to see if anyone had cracked the bottle or anything, and, um, as you can tell, hold on a second here, I'll show you, once I get them positioned, as you can tell, I'm trying to go for a tan look, I'm trying to not look like a vampire this winter, let's just say that, but I just wanted to give that foundation a big thumbs down. I never said that about a foundation. I really had a lot of hope for you, foundation. But you failed me. <laughs> Maybelline, I love you guys. But I have not had great experience with your products. I love your mascara and I love your lip products. But I have not had a great experience with your foundations and concealers and powders or blushes or eyeshadows. And your eyeliners. <laughs> you guys probably... Um, make them too thick is what I'm going to say on behalf of myself and a lot of people out there who use this brand. I'm not saying that it's a bad brand for everybody. Maybe some people like the thick filling, but I personally don't. But that's just me. Um, I'm going to let you guys go now and I'm going to link Jeffrey's video in the description box down below. 
um, sorry to sorry to say I gave this foundation a bad review, but thanks for watching. Um, let me know your experience with it down below if you want. Um, thanks for watching. Peace. Bye.